We are back for number three, as I promised today, guys. It is May 2nd, 2020. We started this playthrough of Pokemon Emerald with the Scrub-A-Dub dubs, guys, on April 3rd. I just checked my YouTube. It has been almost a full month with these guys. We have made so much progress, starting from Little Root Town. We are now in Moss Deep City, and we are not done in Moss Deep, unfortunately, just yet. We have to go take down Team Magma, guys. Let's throw Delcaddy out front here. We're going to keep that EXP share on Dustox. We want Dustox to get the 40, then we'll throw it on Torkoal, guys. Let's go head over to this Space Center. Team Magma is in town. I'll tell you what, guys. We have been stalled out by these thugs all over the place, whether it be Team Aqua led by, team, led by Leader Archie or Team Magma led by Leader Maxi, guys. We got Team Magma in the Space Center. We got to take down all these thugs. All right. Dun, 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 they got a Zubat. We got a Delcaddy. All right. You know what time it is, guys. Double edge time. Should be a one hit KO. Look at that. Delcaddy is wrecking, guys. Easy KO right there. 178 for dust tox. They got a pooch pooch. They got a pooch pooch. We got a caddy caddy. Oh yeah. Down it goes. All right, easy dub right there. Del caddy level 40. Dust tox 181 right there. All right. Simple as that. Let's head on to the next thug here. Look at those scientists in the top left. They're freaking out. They've heard the news that Team Aqua and Team Magma have been causing chaos throughout the Hoenn region. But now it's happening right in front of them. No one is safe in this region, guys. We got to help these suckers out. All right. Double edge. Should be another KO. And how about it? Number is down. 301 for the caddy. Gotta jazz up that music, guys. Gotta get, gotta get funky with it. Get jiggy with it. Alright. We're gonna potion up here. That's good enough, I guess, for now. Let's take this sucker down right here. So we got two more counting this guy to take down. And guys, we're actually going to team up upstairs with a friendly companion who we have seen a couple times on our quest. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is, but you may, may have a couple guesses given the location of where we're at right now in the game. If you played this game before, or even if you haven't. Uh, we're going to feint attack on the Baltoy only because it is super effective because of its psychic and ground typing ancient power onto us. Sometimes Ancient Power can raise your stats as well. Pretty solid move. It's a move you see a lot on the fossil Pokemon in Generation 1. Aerodactyl, um, Omastar, Kabutops, or Kabutops, however you want to say that. Um, don't know where the accent is on the syllable it's supposed to go. Everybody says it a different way. I've heard it way too many different ways. But that is one cool Pokemon, I'll tell you what, guys. Anyway, back to Gen 3. We got the last grunt on the first floor to take down here. This dude's got three mons. We got our Del Caddy. That's all we need. Now, we are getting intimidated, but I still think we should be able to one-hit KO because of the level difference. Oh, and the Mighty Anna just holds on. How about that, guys? Now, they're going to roar us out of here, and we are going to have Torkoal thrown out. But still, Torkoal is... Higher level to this thing, so it should be okay. We're going to go ahead and use Body Slam here. And it should get the KO here on Mighty Edo. Now, this is good because Torkoal will actually get some XP right here. Yep, 177. We'll take it. And a Numble coming out. You know what? Let's just keep Torkoal out here. The Numble might know Magnitude, but I think we could do some decent damage to it before then. So it's using Focus Energy. Trying to build up for a critical hit, it looks like. We're going to body slam this knucklehead. All right. Let's just go for a strength. Yep. Okay, Magnitude 7 probably won't kill Torkoal. I don't think so. There's no way. Okay, that's nothing. How about Torkoal being a bulky beast? All right. 
282 for Turk Turk. Another Mighty Anna. You know what? Let's keep Torkoal out there and let's go with Flamethrower because we're going to get Intimidated. But how about the White Smoke? The Intimidate doesn't work. That's right. And Swagger misses. That is huge. We don't want to be confused. All right. Look at that damage right there, guys. We're going to Strength this thing to death. And it is over, guys. How about Torkoal? 384 for Torky Tork right there. All right. How's the health situation looking? Let's just heal up Delcaddy a little bit here. We can always buy more potions later at the uh, department store. So we're going to go upstairs here. And there is going to be a ton of tea magma guys. Wow, we got to take all these guys down. Looks like by ourselves. I thought we, uh, I thought we get a little help here. I thought somebody comes in to help us save the day. I could be wrong. Maybe that comes after this. Double edge time, guys. Oh, yeah. Zubat is down, guys. And the grunt is down as well. Another $640. We'll take it. That's, those are, that's three potions, guys. We're going to need that going forward throughout the Elite Four. No doubt about it. We're going to have to heal every time. All right, Mighty Anna. So most likely be a two-hit KO here. Just got to hope we don't get swaggered. We probably will, though. And that's with an Intimidate, guys. That's insane. So we are going to get swaggered, unfortunately. But our attack will go up. So because of that, I think we're going to actually use Covet here. Because we get Stab, so it'll be like probably 55, 60 base damage. Unfortunately, Delcaddy gets hurt by Confusion. Mighty Anna, though, not attacking us, using Odor Sleuth, trying to identify Delcaddy to get a critical hit. And Delcaddy snaps out of Confusion. All right, and a critical hit there gets the KO on Mighty Anna. Delcaddy putting in work. 438, Dust Tox to 37. That's what we like to see, guys. How about it? And we got one last Magma Grunt right here. Now, I believe we do battle some of the admins and or Maxi here, I'm pretty sure. And we got Baltoy coming out. It is fan attack time, guys. All right, this will be super effective. Probably get it to, like, the yellow. There we go. Baltoy is going to use Ancient Power. And once again, we are going to hit it with another faint attack. And that should be a KO right there, guys. 198 for Delcaddy and Dustox. And all of the grunts are down there, at least at the top of the stairs. I don't even know what's coming up next. And here's the man I was talking about. It is Steven Stone, guys. We're going to help him out. You know what? I think we have to choose which Pokemon we go with because this will be a double battle. Uh-oh, and they're talking about bringing Groudon to Mount Chimney. Oh, my goodness, and Steven just got punched. Guys, what the heck is going on? We got to choose who we're fighting with here. And we're definitely going to go Whiskash here. Let's go Minon in case they have Crobat. And Sabli, just because Sabli is just a very trusty guy. Um, Sabli's never let us down throughout this entire playthrough. And look at this. Steven's got his Agron, Metang, and Skarmory, guys. Don't know why I said that out of order, but Agron really caught my eye down there. So it is a six-on-six -six fight. Maxi's camera up coming out. Of course, this is the admin, Tabitha, fighting alongside Maxi. His uh, right, right-hand sidekick, of course. His most trusted admin. So, of course, Metang has the clear body, not getting hit. Whiskash is surfing. So, that'll do a great deal of damage. And a one-hit KO onto the camera, of course. Four times effective onto that thing. Golbat coming out. So, it is good that we brought Minun to the fight. We're going to get Scary Faced here onto Whiskash. So, Whiskash's speed will go down. 
and Metang perfectly using Psychic on a Golbat. That'll do a great deal of damage right there. Right there. Alright, so we're going to get Wing Attacked. Shouldn't do much. Take down on Mighty Anna. That's good though because it won't do that much damage and it'll recoil Mighty Anna. Psychic again. Golbat is down. We're surfing this Mighty Anna. 732, guys. Ton of XP right there. Another Mighty Anna, guys. And Intimidated again, unfortunately. Now, Surf, of course, is a special move, but Earthquake, guys, is physical. So if we do plan on using that, which we won't do right now because it will be super effective to Metang. We don't want to kill Steven's Pokemon. He is trying to help us out here. We don't want to be affecting him in any way, shape, or form. And how about Metal Claw as a move, guys? All right. See who they throw out here. It is a Crobat. Okay, so that is Maxi's Crobat. I figured. So Metang is now going to be confused, although it will have a higher attack stat, so that Metal Claw will be more effective. This Surf shouldn't do much to Crobat, I can't imagine. No. It's doing a decent amount to Mighty Enna. Crobat using Mean Look now, so Metang cannot escape. And Metang gets through it. It is going to potentially KO that Mighty Anna, and it does. How about that? 520 for each of us. Whiskash surfing. That was decent damage right there. Now we're going to get... Oh, okay, so the wing attack on a Metang. Not very effective. Not sure why they didn't go after us. Metang is confused, and it hurts itself, unfortunately, but we're still going to get our surf off right here. How about that? Not potioning up there. Metang is confused again. Let's see if it attacks. And no, it does not. It hurts itself once more. But Surf should do the trick here, guys. A critical hit on the Crobat for the KO. 939 XP, guys. Camera up. It is Maxi's camera up. The last one. Level 44. How about it? Metanks, why would it use Metal Claw? That is not very effective. Not sure how it did that much damage. My goodness. Well, this is going to be an easy KO with Surf now for Whiskash, and that should be battle over, guys. Down goes Maxi and Tabitha, guys. Whiskash to 41. You know what? We should have chose Dustox as one of our Pokemon because it wasn't in our active. Technically, it wasn't getting any EXP share. I just realized that. That really stinks. Whatever. Oh, no. So now... So now Team Magma is talking about the reason they're doing this is because, remember, they they want the, the land... They want the land, right, guys, to be to be the big thing. Team Aqua wants the sea. So, of course, Team Magma is going to go after Groudon. Team Aqua is going to go after Kyogre, guys. Um, that's what he was referring to there. We're going to we're actually going to go get ourselves a gift that will help us to get to Sutopolis City for helping Steven. Let's just heal up here first. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the big deal, guys. That That's why they're doing this, and that's why they're both going after their respective beasts. Now, what they don't know is that they are going to create... A huge mass of destruction in the Hoenn region when they awaken these two beasts. Of course, Maxi already got Groudon alive, guys. And we remember Groudon escaped right away. It wanted nothing to do with Maxi. Um, unbelievable. He thinks just by wearing this red red piece of attire that he could just get this Groudon to be his friend. Guys, that is not how it works. These are ancient beasts. As we get HM08 dive from Steven, that allows us to get to Sutopolis City, guys. We're going to head there right now before we wrap up with this video. That is home of the eighth and final gym along our quest to get to Evergrande, guys. Of course, now, when we get there, we're not going to be able to battle the gym right away. There's going to be a lot of trouble between Team Aqua and Team Magma with their respective beasts. 
and we're going to need to head to Sky Pillar to get Rayquaza to come out because Rayquaza, remember guys, is the controlling factor of these couple Pokemon. It keeps them in balance, um, and unfortunately Team Aqua and Team Magma um, awaken the imbalance, and they make the world way less safe than it has to be. Um, and that's why we have to come along and save the day for the Hoenn region, guys. But let's go head out here as we stocked up on repels just so we don't get stuck in the water battles. Uh, we got some repels. Let's go head down. We got to teach Whiskash Dive. Then we'll head down to Sutopolis City and wrap up with this video, guys. So we're only missing one more. It is Waterfall, guys. Waterfall is the last HM. That allows us to get up. Um, that allows us to get up to the top of the Waterfall. That leads to Evergrande City, where the Pokemon Center is. Not where the uh, not where the Pokemon League is. The Pokemon Center up there, guys. We're gonna get rid of Snore. All right. Eventually, Whiskash will have to learn Ice Beam too. I have to find that TM. Uh, that's gonna play a huge role against Drake, guys. I know I've mentioned Drake already. We're gonna head down here. We're look, gonna be looking for a White Rock, guys. That means Sutopolis is near. We're gonna actually max repel here first, though. Don't want to run into any wild battles. We don't want to waste any unnecessary time here. Um, just in case, let's throw Minon out front here in case there's any trainer battles. They will most likely have water types. Electric, of course, beats water. And we are going to be looking out for a white rock, guys. Get past the swimmer right there. And May is, so May is actually referring to that green Pokemon. She's referring to Rayquaza, guys. Rayquaza knows something crazy is about to happen. Let's just check the map here. We are a little bit below Sutopolis. We're going to want to go up here. Unbelievable, guys. So you can already see Team Aqua. And we of course, we run into a trainer battle here. She looks the other way the one time, and she looks over here. Um, Team Aqua and Team Magma, already it seems like they're awakening those beasts, guys, unfortunately. And, and Rayquaza knows right away that it has to go take control of the situation. And uh, it has to go rush over to Sutopolis. And we're actually going to see that in a cutscene, guys. It'll be a really cool cutscene. This is the meat of this game. This is all the iconic things that ever happened in this game. As you can see, I forgot Staryu is even in this game. Uh, you can actually catch Staryu and Starmie in this game. Another Gen 1 guy. Um... All the iconic things that happen in Emerald occur right here during this playthrough. And that's what made this game so memorable. It's it's the three legendaries all acting in that sort of balancing act about how Rayquaza takes control. There was no no game before this in Pokemon had implemented something like that. It was a very cool addition to the story. The backstory of the legendary is really awesome in this game. About how it was about the balance in nature between land and sea. And not one or the other is better. Um, the most important thing is that we need balance in life. And, and that's true. Um, that's true with anything. If you just look at our life, you know, human life, the same thing, you know, everything has been put in place perfectly for us and how we have to live. And it's not our job to mess with nature. The You can see right above us here, that is Sutopolis. We're going to dive down here. The sea is deep. Yes, we are going to dive. Whiskash, we are going under. And guys, we're going to head right through here to the underwater. Should be an item there, right? Oh, no. Sometimes those things are items. Guys, light is filtering down from above. We're going to dive up here. And we have made it to Sutopolis City, guys. Home of the final gym in the Hoenn region. The eighth gym. Unreal, guys. I can't believe we are here. We made it all the way back of course from uh we're gonna heal up here i don't even know if we need to or not but let's just do it we made it all the way from little root guys all the way to sutopolis that is all the, all the way on the other side of the hoenn region guys it has been an insanely long journey but it is really coming close to an end will our fate prove to be to make us the eighth gym badge champion and as well as the champion of the Hoenn region well guys stay tuned we will find out 
See you next time, guys. It's been awesome. I got three videos out today. Really good progress here on this Let's Play. Hoping to do the same thing tomorrow. This has been a ton of fun, guys, playing this. this is a blast from the past. Stay safe, everyone. See you next time, Knucklehead. So long. Take care.